Alright, I found a nice Linux distribution for all of you Mac fans out there. We are looking at Luninux today on Spatry's Cup of Linux. All right, well, looks like I have found a nice little gem for all of you who are looking for a nice Ubuntu-based Linux desktop that uh, looks like Mac OS X. Now, I'm actually looking at this as a live CD, and this looks like this is using the latest GNOME. And the thing that really caught my eye is the fact that the uh, top panel here has a nice little level of transparency. And even when I change the wallpapers on it, it will, you know, allow the uh, backgrounds to show through. So there are actually some effects that show up on this pretty well. Um, just running this in a fallback mode, if you will. Well, let's have a look at this and see what you get. Um, this looks like a, a really nice little uh, operating system that was well thought out and... Uh, and this should definitely be a pleaser for all the Mac fans out there. Okay, first you have your wastebasket here. Then, of course, a weather applet, which you can set. There is a sound recorder, G-Brainy, Gini, Audacity. Wonderful audio recorder. By the way, I, I have to mention that Audacity has come a long way, and I really like uh, this is an open source uh, audio editing suite and uh, and actually it's a nice replacement for Adobe Edition. I think uh, that they've done a magnificent job with that so it's good that they included this. You also get the Banshee Media Player. You get the Shotwell Photo Manager. Xterm is the terminal that comes with this. System Settings. Update Manager. You get Libra Office with this cheese webcam booth you get the gnome file manager with this if I'm not mistaken and I believe that's what this is yes it's using Nautilus okay and then of course you get the Firefox web browser now obviously we're not running this uh, as installed this is in a fallback mode but uh, I'm very pleased with how this looks. Okay, and then we have our standard application menu, and you have a ton of applications now. This was a 1.4 gig download, and they sure loaded this with a lot of stuff. So this is a great entry-level distribution for anybody who wants to try Linux for the first time. This will have almost all the applications that you could possibly want to try out. There's a little bit of something for everyone in here. For instance, you get an activity journal, an archive manager, the Brazero desk burner, uh, a calculator, character map. You can manage your contacts, a disk usage analyzer, a disk utility. You can, um, okay, great. It has the Xorg diagnostic and repair utility. Uh, Docky, which is on the bottom of the screen, files, Glubus Preview, which gives uh, uh, previews of your albums and that sort of thing, which is really nice. Uh, hamster Time Tracker Overview, uh, Help, Screenshot, Search for Files, Speed Crunch, which is a high precision calculator for all of you mathematicians out there. Uh, terminal, you've got the Gated Text Editor. Time Tracker and Tomboy Notes. And then, of course, in games, you get a standard complement of uh, you get the Isle Row Solitaire, Free Cell, G Brainy, Mahjong, Mines, my, my favorite. You also get the front end for Wine called Play on Linux, which will help you get some of your Windows applications running on this, and Sudoku. Okay, in graphics, you get Blender Comics. You get the Events Document Viewer, which by the way, has to be the best one because it pretty much opens up everything. You get the GIMP image editor, an image viewer, my paint, Shotwell Photo Manager, Simple Scan, and I skipped over the LibreOffice Draw, an internet, 
you get desktop sharing, empathy, internet messaging, Firefox, web browser. You get an instant messenger. You get the Gwibber social client, Pigeon, remote desktop viewer, Thunderbird, transmission, uh, Vidalia, Wireshark, and XChat IRC. LibreOffice, of course, in the Office Suite. And other plenty of tools here. I'm not going to have time to go into all of them. Uh, there are even some programming tools, a Bluefish Editor, Gini, and a Meld Diff Viewer in Science. You get the Stellarium, great for the kids, let me tell you, they're going to love that one. Okay, and then in Sound and Video, you have, you have all the tools you could ever possibly want for uh, creating and viewing audio files. Uh, you uh, get the Audacity that I was just mentioning, and uh, Audio CD Extractor, Banshee Media Player, Brazero Disc Burner, CD Player, Cheese Webcam Booth, DVD, CD, and DVD Video Creator. Uh, great for making those home movies. And uh, you get Minitube, Movie Player, Open Shot Video Editor. I have several tutorials on my channel for those of you who want to check that one out. Screen Capture, Sound Recorder, and the VLC Media Player. So you will be able to play just about any video out of the box. Okay, and then in System Tools, you get Bleach Bit. One of my favorite applications, you can run that as your standard user or as root. This will keep your system cleaner, much like C Cleaner did when you were running Windows. You get a configuration editor, GNOME Shell Weather Configurator, HTOP, which is uh, which uh, allows you to view your system's resources, much like a task manager, but it's very lightweight. iBus, Power Statistics System Monitor, System Monitor Preferences, System Settings, UX Term, and then X Term. In Universal Access, you get the Orca Screen Reader and Onboard. And then, of course, Wine comes preloaded with this. And you also get the Software Center with this, which will allow you to add any additional software that you may require. Um, go, I figured I'd go ahead and load that up. And then, of course, there is a backup utility that comes with this as well, and it gives, it's given me the options to do this. I'm going to close that for right now while I'm waiting on the uh, Software Center to open up. And, and this is understandably going to run a little bit slower because I'm running this in a virtual machine with a video capture utility. But you can see this is the Ubuntu Software Center and it looks like it's running the latest one. And so you can pretty much get most of, this, most of the applications that you will ever need with this. And uh, so uh, all in all, this is a very nice looking distribution. I would definitely recommend this to beginners because it is Ubuntu based. Also, another nice thing about this is um, if you run into any bumps in the road and that sort of thing, you can always get support on Ubuntu's uh, forums or on, uh, or on uh, any forum that has Ubuntu based distributions. So if you run into anything, you know, you're easily going to be able to find it. I'm surprised this is taking as long as it is taking to uh, show this to you. But uh, it is to be understood because of all the resources I have running right now. But all in all, uh, this basically goes into uh, all the uh, applications that you can get for this. It's using the new Ubuntu Software Center, which is a very nice touch. If you thought this review was useful, please comment and subscribe. Google+, Facebook, and Twitter will keep you up to date. Every time I send a new video to my channel, I'd like to thank you all for your continued support, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.